Next on tour, we head to America's heartland, where amongst the emerald pastures, there is a different kind of green, the home of TPC Deer Run. The John Deere is great. It's a great venue, awesome golf course. They have 59 and 60 shot there, but at the same time, sometimes you shoot 68, it's a great score. So it uh, depends on the wind, depends on the conditions. It's fun, you can go out and make a lot of birdies, but at the same time, when you've got the lead coming down the stretch, you've got a, you've got a lot of great holes, and 17's probably one of the best par fives that we play on tour, and then 18's a great closing hole. It's an event that has been dominated by veterans. We've been thrilled by the Stricker 3 P. Looking good. Oh my goodness! For three in a row. And moved by the hometown hero. Zach Johnson takes home his hometown event. It's terrific. It's become a pit stop for my family that we certainly highlight on our calendar. Being a past champion makes it that much more special. And the fact that I've got family and friends are going to come out and, and be a part of this too with me is something I don't take for granted. I love coming back. But as of late, it's been a breeding ground for breakthrough victors. Jordan Spieth, his first PGA Tour victory, and I believe the first of many. Brian Harmon. It looks like he's won four or five times out here. He's just it head down, keeps making putts. Like he's expecting to make those. 28-year-old Brian Harmon will try and hone in on his breakout win defend against the tough field, including more than 70 PGA Tour winners and nine major champions. They will all tee it up in hopes of going low on a course that surrendered the most birdies on tour in each of the last four years. And this week, every birdie counts because taking the title at the John Deere Classic means punching the last ticket for the Open Championship. Did you bring your passport? I brought my passport and a couple jackets, man. I can't wait to go get on that plane.